What up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, um, I'm going to be petty. You know, I'm going to re relish in the problems of the 49ers. I know we have not been to the Super Bowl in a long time, but you know, as great as the San Francisco 49ers are, they got five rings and three losses, and we got five rings and three losses. And they can't seem to get over the hump to get that number six to get past us. So I'm okay. I'm okay. So Brandon Ayuk, you know, you know I, I love this because this is like cowboy drama. And what I'm realizing is, the Eagles, they got the same kind of problems we do. You know, they've gone through and they played Jalen Hurts last year, and now they're kind of wondering, is he really that guy? Because really, he's had one good year. And they've been down that route before with Carson Wentz, so you don't know. And, of course, they got Kellen Moore. And now you've got Brandon Ayuk, who um, – it, this is where it's funny because I was I talked about it briefly earlier because his brother, himself, his girlfriend, they all went in, you know, deep on screw the 49ers. You know, we're going to get out of here. You know, it, including Brandon Ayuk was like, don't forget who got you here. And I think we actually have exactly why he is so pissed off because he got – Three passes in the game. And Ayuk has been a beast. He's over 1,300 yards. He's one of the best receivers in football. And to see him have as many yards as he did with all of the playmakers they have, having Debo, having Kel, uh, uh, Kittle, Skittle Kittle, and having, of course, um, Christian McCaffrey, for him to still have 1,300 yards is incredible. And that's one of the reasons why I would really like to see a Stefan Diggs, possibly. Stefan Diggs, some people will say, you know, he's a whiner, he's a crybaby, or he's too passionate. I need some passion. I need, I need to see somebody actually pissed off as opposed to just, you know, oh, well, you know, just uh, melt, uh, just disappearing. I don't, I'm tired of people disappearing. We had Amari Cooper who used to disappear. Now we got CeeDee Lamb that's disappearing. We need somebody to be an alpha dog that when shit goes bad, they're going into the breach. But here is what I believe really pissed off Ayuk is on that last play that they had in overtime, he was wide open. And you know how it's funny. You, you, you know how it's always funny because it, 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 well, I want to preface it this because actually I want to do something with this because I was actually talking to uh, uh, DMV because he works with a bunch of kids and stuff. Is I want to get, um, they have glasses now that have a camera in them. Um, I'm not sure I want to get the Ray-Bans. Ray-Bans ones is the name you know and the style is cool. But it's hooked up to Meta, and it's done as a portrait as opposed to landscape. And I do all my stuff in, in landscape. And it would be great because then when I'm doing work and stuff like here on the house and things or, or at the draft and things, that I can go ahead and use that as a different camera so you can see what I see. And um, what I thought would be cool is to get you know a high school or a college quarterback and having them wear the glasses – and doing some plays. So you can see how difficult it is when you're looking into the helmet, of course, with your face mask. And in real time, when people are rushing at you and everything's bouncing around, as opposed to looking at the film. Where you can stop it, start it, stop it, start it. Where you've got milliseconds to make decisions. But here's what Brian Baldinger uh, broke this down a little bit. And when you see this... This would be one of those ones that Dak Prescott, he sucks. That guy was wide open. Let's go to the tape. This is the final play of the season for the 49ers offense. There's a breakdown in protection up front. On third and four, with a chance to score an easy touchdown. And up front, Brendel's going to pull. All right, But this is wrong right here. Somebody's wrong. The chances are there should have been a slide to the right. You can't let the Chiefs' best player... Chris Jones come free. He's a monster. And so Purdy's forced to throw this ball away. 
maybe had a shot at Jennings, they kicked a field goal. But had they blocked it properly, this is what they would have had. Up at the top is man coverage. All right, McDuffie is on Debo, and Legereus Sneed is on Ayuk, and Ayuk is going to beat him clean. In fact, Sneed is He's on the ground, wide open. He's and Ayuk wide open. is running free in the end zone. Could have easily been a touchdown if they blocked it well up front. Ayuk scores maybe his easiest touchdown of the season. He can't believe it. You can see it. He's like, no, no. This is the final play of the So, now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I am not going to say that he's a garbage-ass quarterback and that he sucked and if he had a man wide open. Because what you have to understand is he had Chris Jones barreling down on him, and the man is like an eclipse. He is blocking out the sun. And you realize, I've got to hurry up and do something with this, and I can't turn this ball around uh, away. And you don't have enough time to be able to see the guy that is streaking wide open. You just don't. And you're talking about a second and a half to catch the ball, see this guy that's coming and barreling down at you, and try and throw. And that includes the motion of throwing. <clears throat> Playing quarterback in the NFL is hard. And I can understand why Ayuk is like, I did my job. Screw this. But I don't know that he's going to find a situation unless he's going to Kansas City where – it's going to be a lot better. Although, come to Dallas, I'll take you. <laughs> you want to get out of there? Come to Dallas, bro. Come to Dallas. All right, good people. I will catch you guys a little bit later. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. Um, things are heating up with the Dallas Cowboys. Um, they got denied by the New York Giants to interview a former assistant coach of Mike Zimmer's uh, for the defensive line. They are looking for coaches and um, trying to get that stuff together. Um, we're hearing that they're working on C.D. Lamb. They don't want him on the uh, fifth-year option. Hmm. You know, and, and there's a reason why you don't want that too, FYI, because that gives you another year where you can offset the money down the road as opposed to what they did with Dak Prescott, you know, whether you have no time to hide the money, so to speak, with some of the years where it's still relatively cheap. So they're actually beginning to do a few things right. All right, good people. I appreciate each and every one of you guys as always, and I will leave you with this. Literally quit. They quit. This isn't a thing where we just didn't see. When I hear the players, and I love all the players, I love Cox, and I love, 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 